Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Melanin Margin, the weekly chat show where conversations about race are never off the table. We're your hosts, Quavy Andre Williams. And Daquan Wilson. So let's get into this week's conversation. What's hot on the table this week? In an article written on Entertainment News, we learned that Bill Gates is admitting he made mistakes in his marriage, but he won't be delving into particulars. A year after he and his ex-wife, Melinda Gates, jointly announced their split after 27 years of marriage, the Microsoft mogul is being faced with renewed questions about his fidelity. During an interview Tuesday on Today, co-anchor Savannah Guthrie broached allegations of extramarital affairs, asking the 66-year-old philanthropist, were you unfaithful in your marriage? Is that one of the reasons there was a divorce? Bill responded by saying, I certainly made mistakes and I take responsibility. As for the specifics of those mistakes, he says, quote, I don't think delving into the particulars at this point is constructive, but yes, I caused pain and I feel terrible about that. Last May, his spokeswoman confirmed to Washington Post in an emailed statement, there was an affair almost 20 years ago, which ended amicably. When asked about whether Bill had multiple affairs, Melinda told CBS Morning's Gail King that those are questions he needs to answer. While discussing the affair he admitted to, Melinda told Gail, I certainly believe in forgiveness, so I thought we had worked through some of that. However, she noted, quote, it was a one moment, um, it wasn't one moment or one specific thing that happened. There was just a point in time where there was enough there that I realized I just wasn't healthy and or it, just, it just wasn't healthy and I couldn't trust what we had. So this begs an interesting question, Daquan. Do you think that a relationship can survive if a partner cheats? Listen, cheat on me if you want to. I'm screaming at the scissors. <laughs> Not the scissors. Where do you get the fucking scissors from, bitch? Every time. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but let's be honest. Every relationship is going to look different. Everybody yeah. has different boundaries, whatever. Yeah, I will say for me, cheating is an absolute deal breaker. Yeah, because I don't care whether it was one time or you were drunk or it was just a mistake. You weren't thinking blah blah blah. It's it's over and done at that point because yeah. what that says to me is you decided to keep secrets from me. You decided to go behind my back. You decided to essentially deceive me. Mm -hmm. And once trust is broken down in a relationship that I'm in, frankly, it is very hard for you to gain my trust again and for me to trust you again. And so that's why I say for me, mm -mm, you cheat on me, we're done. I'm leaving. I, I know my worth and I'm no. going to protect my energy and I'm not going to let you, you know, disrupt any of that because what happens is there's so much that goes on in your head. You're thinking, am I doing something wrong? Am I not doing X enough? Like, why would they feel the need to go out and get whatever from somebody else? Like, am I not doing enough? And I'm not going to go through that because I know that I'm good. <laughs> I know that I have my boundaries. I set my boundaries and I'm not going to go crazy trying to wrap my head to justify somebody else crossing that boundary but we have seen plenty of relationships where cheating happened and they were ended up recovering from that and that's beautiful and that's great but you can't always count on that happening and you're definitely not going to count on it when it comes to me yeah, I fully agree. I think that there are some partners who can continue a relationship after they found out that their partner cheated, but I'm not one of those people either. Um, <laughs> I, having an open line of honest communication is necessary in all my relationships. So if there is ever a time where my partner doesn't feel validated, 
satisfied or happy with our current situation, I have no problem discussing ways in which we can rectify said situation, which is why if they cheated on me, um, it would be the end of the relationship, like you said. Um, if either of us was seriously considering being with someone else outside of the relationship we established, then we need to break up. Um, right. I've always been of the mindset that no one has the power to take away my partner from me because if my partner really respected the agreement we made between each other in the relationship, no one else would stand a chance. I mean, too many people are so upset at the other person who sleeps with their partner, but not enough understand that this other person isn't to blame because they didn't break any vows or made any promises to you. Even if that person's goal was to convince your partner to sleep with them knowing they were in a relationship. They might be a terrible person, but even still, the only person at fault is your partner. Homewreckers don't exist because outside of sexual assault, the only person capable of supposedly wrecking your home in that way is the person who helped you build the home in the first place, your partner. So That part. Right? Like, so as a society, I think we need to start placing the blame in the proper place when cheating happens. Also, I think that for some people, cheating isn't about the actual act itself, but everything surrounding it. Some mm -hmm. people like the adrenaline rush of getting away with something bad or keeping secrets. There are so many different reasons as to why people cheat on their partners. But at the end of the day, when you cheat, you make a choice. No one forced you to break the trust of the relationship you were in. You chose to do that. And if you're in a relationship where you can't be honest with your partner about your grievances or about your lack of satisfaction in whatever area that might be in, maybe you shouldn't be in that relationship in the first place. I mean, bitch. <laughs> Say that on. again. Like, if you don't feel like you can tell this person, hey, these things are not working for me and I'd like you to do X, Y, and Z. If you don't feel that you have enough trust or enough honesty or enough freedom to do that then bitch you shouldn't be in this relationship that's not walk a good out. one <laughs> no the, the door clock out <laughs> <laughs> but daquan i wanted to ask you do you think that a relationship will ever be the same after a major bre breach of trust even if you do Absolutely forgive them not. It could <laughs> never and i'm not even just saying that for me i'm saying yeah. that for any relationships because when you have that breach of trust, it hurts you so bad. Yeah. Like it changes everything. Because like I said before, you start trying to justify it. But yep. you also start to try to figure out if there were warning signs. You oh, start to figure yeah. out, you know, were they getting distance? Were they taking longer to reply? Were they staying out late? And when you start doing that, you're going to continue to see different warning signs, mm -hmm. e even if there's nothing to be warned about. So that's why for me, it's never, it's never <laughs> going to be the same again. Even if we do become amicable and, yeah. you know, we are able to still forge some type of friendship or relationship or whatever, yeah. that level of trust will never happen again. And it's never going to look the same way. And I also think... I love that you brought out that important part of how so many people are quick to blame the outside party <laughs> yeah. in that situation of cheating. Like you see it time and time again, yeah. you have a woman and a man and the woman always blames the other woman. And it's yep. like, you know, there are certain times when, you know, you got to beef with that person if they were like your best friend. Yeah, but that's different. Just yeah. Some like stranger that you have no type of relationship with, they probably don't even know if you were on a in a relationship. And even if they did, your main issue should be with your partner. Exactly. Because that is the person who breached your trust. That is the person who made this agreement with you that you would be exclusive, that you would have this mm -hmm. level of trust in each other to maintain a intimate relationship. And so you will never catch me being like, I, I don't know who this other person was, but I'm a come up and I'm a roll up. And I'm, no, because that's not mm -hmm. me. Mm -mm. The, per the problem, the person that I have a problem with is my partner. And that's who I'm going to solve this issue with. 
Exactly. I don't. I just. I really never understood that. Like in the movie, it's all the movies, plot lines, like so every many movies. single one. Like, Tyler so Perry many, writes oh, it God. every single. Like or like, it's always the other woman is so evil and mean and nasty, mm -hmm. or the other person is whatever. And I'm just like, y'all, why the fuck are you trying to beat this bitch's ass? Why are you trying to fight her? Or why is it like, you, you better not talk to my man. You better not fuck my man no more. Bitch, it fucking takes two people. It right. Takes two tell people. your man to be like, I'm in a relationship. I don't want that type of attention. And tell him to leave the situation if it's getting to that point. Like, it, it is so fucking infuriating. Like, I'm so tired of seeing this shit over and over and over and over again. Like, when I find this bitch, when I find this bitch, it's going to be the, 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 the. And like, it's a listen. Unless it's like a best friend type of situation they cheated on or like a um someone who was close to you, like a family member or something, that's different because that's like you you you'd hurt me. But like like you said, if it's a strange, it's a stranger, this bitch don't know you, this bitch don't care about you, this bitch ain't make no kind of fucking promises that this man did. And you jumping on her, and then it's like you bet not see that bitch again, because I'm gonna beat her ass. What? Beat her ass, like. And like I've like I've always said, I, it can be hard for a relationship to survive a breach of trust that major, but many people do. You know, we know we've seen it. However, I think that the relationship will never be the same because of the act. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. there was this crumpled paper exercise that I saw a mother do um, on her with her kids online to teach her about how bullying can affect someone. You saw that one, Daquan? Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, so basically, for those of you who don't know, um, she took a plain piece of paper and told her kids to say mean things to the paper. And at each insult that the children threw at the paper, she crumpled the ball more and more and more until it was in a tight ball. Then she told them to say sorry to the paper and then stretched it back out. Now, after that, she asked the kids, if the paper was back to the way it was, if they, she asked them if the paper was back to the way it was before, and they said no. It still had crinkles in it. And she said, that's what happens when you bully someone. You see, just because you say you're sorry doesn't mean everything goes back to the way it was. This is kind of how I look at cheating. Like, while you might be able to forgive someone for breaking your heart, it doesn't erase the pain they caused you. I mean, you can learn to trust them again. But like you said, Daquan, the relationship will never reach that same level of trust it once had. Because no matter how much work you do together, how much time you spend, you know, trying to learn to trust them again and, and all that good stuff, those crinkles in the paper of your heart will never fully go away. It'll never fully become like a, a, un, a, a plain piece of paper again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I totally agree. I think that it changes you forever. And I also think that even with like so many different kind of, you know, couples therapy and everything like that, there's just certain things that you just can't fully heal from. Or even if yeah. you do heal from it, it's still not going to go back to how it was before. Mm-hmm.